uploaded a, a video, you know, a short video, the other day, and some of you said I should just uh, do the bill at grill, a custom one in this Mercedes Benz. And that's what I'm going to do, because that was a great idea. I was going to use it in the Ford Maverick. That's this car right here. And uh, the Mercedes, is just it, it just suits it, don't it? Now, we need to center this up the best we can. And we're going to have to make this hood latch heel work. We're going to jump straight into the video, by the way. Uh, should be simple to do. Once we get it though. Uh, that's pretty centered. We used the hood latch and our eyeball. No tape measures or anything like that needed. Uh, we go down here. I like to have the chrome up top. A little bit chrome at the bottom. Uh, yeah, we run with that. Oh, was going to run with that. So look at this from the factory. We got a bend here. Can we uh, maybe make this work? Like this. I mean, we really don't need this stud right here. We can cut this. So, this will be bye bye. We can set this over. That looks about straight enough. By eyeball. Cut here some. Cut here some. Here some. Here. 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 And for the bottom, we'll cut here. We got any trimming we need to do, we can. We can cut here, 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 and, ooh, I'm way off on that. Let's see, here, here, that might a mistake. We'll wipe that off. Okay, so we're going to cut this off, level here this off a level and then we, we do our tabs and we make it mountable so let's take this and get a cutoff wheel and cut this these edges cut this off and then test fit it and figure out where we need to weld some stuff and then we go tack some stuff on it so i got a cutoff wheel you want to wear safety grasses make sure your cord ain't going to get cut up and let's cut some of this I'm cutting on the edge This is what we got so far by just eyeballing it. You know, let's try open the hood and do a thing. Okay. Now, let's see if we can fit this in here. Okay, it's fitting. It's fitting. That's a good sign, but we're going to trim some more. And then we need to trim out the center here. Looks like right here. So, put an L here, L here. I'm going to trim that. Right there. Okay, we're getting uh actually we can spread it a little bit. We can spread that middle one a little. So everything works out if we spread it. 80 grit benchmark abrasives, great brand, lasts forever. And I'm gonna take and just clean these edges up make it all nice and hopefully it fit in our better then we can get to the final mount and then we might try to make the mercedes in one fit it too test at number 15. Top, it's got me. It's not much better now. She's longer now, what it is. Well, flattened it. And that's go through and straighten all these. You know? Solder mountain system on the grill. We need to clean up the edges and stuff, but this is good enough for now. 
and if you're doing this professionally and want it work super good take more time than i did i gotta take a file clean this all up we paint this you know and they some of the welds from the factory was just shitty uh i guess them. i could have cut the weld i don't know i just think it's shitty we blame it on shitty welds like that boop, boop, boop. easy fix we'll fix it when we paint the hood in a future video i got to figure out how i'm gonna mount this i was gonna drill holes and mount it like this up through the grill with nuts but since he's lined up here i'm building me some tabs later on in a future video maybe when we work some more again on this uh grill but till then i can just zip tie us in nobody you know nobody gonna know and we got six mountain places we can well eight or something like that so we got plenty of places to mount this grill you know what won't go nowhere shore beach buying a new grill i mean this grill was 65 dollars i cut up but my buddy ordered it and it was the wrong grill might have been 85 dollars and uh i got it for like 50 bucks off you know so that's for you kind of know in case you watching the video and want to know what kind of grill i'm using here today out of sight out of mind that's how we do things around here we go okay next step is get the mercedes emblem somehow mounted on look what i got i got a mercedes emblem let's see how she looks we put it here these need moved up just a little and down Can we do it just a little bit better we ain't gonna look kind of crazy mm -hmm. probably can let's see and we can set that right there and hopefully if that thing goes good does the mercedes M will go like this or does it go the other way um i'm not sure we shall see oh we straighten these up just a little let's make them look a lot better let me know in the comment section what you think about this grill i think once the hood is painted and everything is in here i think it's gonna work out pretty good we can actually make mountain hardware to it you know once we go to paint it make something to mount this in but for now i'm back on the highway and uh you know from a distance you never know it it was quick and easy as i said before this is a yukon uh gmc yukon grill for like uh 95 to 99 and i just cut it down just need trimmed a little bit more but we do that when we pour it back out it's getting light and i need to grill back in this thanks for watching